Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be pretty awesome, guys. It's actually going to be refreshing a lot of your guys' memories about something pretty darn huge in Pokemon Brick Bronze. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are going to be so happy that I reminded you of this because it's potentially, p -p 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 potentially, pick up a pe pe penguin. It's potentially going to be something very, very huge in Pokemon Brick Bronze. A lot of people have been waiting a long time for this, especially me, and um, I just can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see what this is. Uh, so anyway guys, before we get into today's video, don't forget to leave a like, and also, if you are new, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications guys, because I'm going to be having a lot of Roblox Pokemon Brick Bronze videos, guides, giveaways, Pokemon videos over the next couple of days because the 8th gym update is supposedly dropping this weekend. Yes, that is right guys, this weekend. Um, anyway, let's get into today's video. So, a lot of you guys who've been playing Pokemon Brick Bronze for a while may have forgotten this because um, it's pretty early on in the game when we find out about this little secret thing. Well, it kind of seems like it's going to be a secret thing. Um, but a lot of you new players might actually already know what I'm talking about. And um, if we just go into our menu really quickly, go to Pokemon. And uh, there's my Thunderous, my shiny Thunderous. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to... We're gonna fly to which one is it? Is it Brimber? I th no, it's not Brimber. It's Laguna. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use our Pokemon to fly to Laguna Lake, guys. It's a uh, it's it's not very far after Laguna Lake that we have to go to. And please do stay tuned throughout the whole video because we are gonna speculate about this and kind of talk about it, guys. And I want to know in your, uh, your what you think in the comments section below, okay? Um, so anyway, here we are at Laguna, and what we're going to do is go through this little uh, kind of route extender right here uh, on the map. So as you can see, we go through, and then we're going to exit um, in, in the route, which I like to call, uh, to call Bidoof Dam. I call Route 7 Bidoof Dam, because if, when we first played this game, when we first actually got here, we could not cross this little area right here, because it was full of water, and there was a couple of Bidoofs down there, kind of like, playing sillies with us, and they were blocking up the dam, so that the water couldn't flow all the way through. Now... When I first played this game, what I did was I came through here and uh, of course all of us had to, we all had to come through here and we had to battle a couple of trainers that had Bidoofs, right? Like, so we had to battle this guy, this guy, this guy and this guy and I'm pretty sure it's this guy we talked to. Um, okay, no it's not, I got the wrong guy, sorry. But if you recall, after we talked to this guy, who I think is a gym leader, I can't remember if he is or not, um, but if we talk to him really quickly, he says, you must have been pretty tough to beat all my workers like that. Come back when you have all eight gym badges and I'll have a battle with you. Okay, so when people first heard that, a lot of people were like, oh, okay, what is this talking about? Like, who is this dude? I mean... Why does it have to be after all eight gym badges? Now, I've just actually remembered that this guy is not a gym leader, but he is in fact a developer of another game on Roblox. And normally, all of the gym leaders are developers of other games. And this one right here is a developer of a different game, but he he's not a gym leader, right? So this kind of got people thinking, and I really don't know what people thought was going to happen after we get all of the eight gym badges. Like, what's going to happen? Personally, I think he's going to give you a Pokemon or something like that. I think he's going to have a special Pokemon, and he's going to give you that Pokemon. Um, But I don't know. A couple of other people have been saying that he was going to be the champion uh, of Roria, the, the, the Roria League, or the Elite Four, but I don't think that. Maybe he could be an Elite Four? person, like maybe he could be one of the Elite Four, but I don't know too much about that. I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, as far as I know, I just think he's going to give you a Rainbow Bidoof, personally. That's my whole thing about it, because we had to battle a load of Bidoofs and everything, and you know, Rainbow Bidoofs are very special to get in this game, and technically this would be your first ever Rainbow Pokemon that you get in the game, which would be pretty interesting in my opinion, like to get it from a guy. Um, 
But what I would really like to do is kind of ask you guys, what do you think this dude is going to give you or what do you think is going to happen after you battle him after the 8th gym badge or the 8th gym update? Because I know for a fact a lot of people who've been playing this game for years had definitely forgotten about this because a lot of people I talked to and asked, tried, I, I was going to ask their opinions on what they thought happened and they were like, what? What are you talking about? There's no guy who says that. And I was like, there is a guy who says that. I was like, I'm pretty sure there is. Um, so I had to come back and kind of recheck myself and kind of update you guys because, yeah, it, this is going to be pretty huge. I feel like this is going to be something huge in the game. I mean, look at him. He looks pretty serious. He looks very serious to me, guys. Um, but as far as I know, there's no different, like, secret rooms or anything around here. Maybe there could be one behind this. Probably not. Um, so it does. It's. I don't think it's going to, like, lead to a different room or anything. Um, when I first saw this... What I actually thought was going to happen, see there's no secret rooms here either, um, what I thought was going to happen was, I thought that we would be able to sail through here, or you know, kind of swim through here, and actually go and see um, where Mewtwo is. I genuinely thought that that little cave back there um, was going to be where we would meet Mewtwo, and basically, because we've beaten that guy, he would give us passage to that cave. Um, but unfortunately that didn't happen and everything. This is the dragon's cave where, um, where I, like everyone assumes a, lot, a couple of dragons are going to spawn and everything like that. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, we can definitely rule out the fact of Mewtwo being in that cave unless they're just going to do a, do a crazy little kind of twist on us and be like, oh no, there is, he's here now, yeah, there are Mewtwo's in here. Um, but I don't know. Personally, I just think it's going to be the Rainbow Bidoof kind of thing. And I would really like to see what you guys feel like in the comment section below, what you guys feel, and uh, if you think the same as me. If you don't, feel free to comment down below and tell me what you think is going to happen, because I would really like to check. Um, I do actually check the comments, although I don't always reply to them or anything. I do like to check them over and just kind of see what other people are thinking about this game, because I like co talking about these kind of things. It's interesting to talk and debate and all that kind of stuff on your favorite game, and this is definitely my favorite Roblox game, so I kind of like talking about, like, theories and speculations and stuff like that. So I'd really like to know what you guys think. Put it in the comment section below, and even tell a friend about it. Tell them to come to the video, come and check it out, and uh, have their say on it too. I'd really like to know. And see if this dude says anything. Uh, yeah, this dude doesn't say nothing. I don't think anyone inside there says anything different, so I don't know. I, maybe we we are going to find out about it in the new update. I'm really hoping that they haven't forgotten about it and that they have updated this part because as soon as I d beat that 8th gym leader, I am going straight over to this dude to go and check what exactly happens after we beat him. I can imagine he'll be really tough, like really, really, really tough. Unless he has, like, Bidoof Star, like, all level 100 or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's pretty much been it for today's video. Before I do end it, I would like to say that uh, the new gym update is coming out, hopefully this weekend. And I'm going to be having a lot of live streams. I'm actually going to be live streaming quite a lot. And I would really like you guys to turn on notifications to make sure that you don't miss it. And also, if you want to, go and follow me on my Twitter down below, okay? Go and follow me on the, my Twitter, my Instagram, my, uh, my my Snapchat, anything like that. And uh, yeah, whenever I go live or whenever I find something new out about the update, I will post it on uh, one of those social medias, you know? How does the thing go? It goes scrap. There you go, scrap. The thing goes I don't know. I, I don't know too much about that song these days, but yeah. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, go and check out my social medias in the uh, comment section below or the links below in the description even. And um, yeah, I, I, I hope that I can make some very awesome guides videos, glitches for you guys in the new 8th gym update. We've only got a couple more days to go. So that's going to be pretty awesome, guys. Um, well, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like. And, uh, yeah, until next time, I mean Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.